Hey, this is Dano. Okay, so I said I wasn't going to do this, but I decided I might as well. Um, I've had the Impossible Burger from Burger King several times already. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. To me, it tasted in my mind like, you know, regular Whopper. Uh, kind of mind blown by the whole thing. So, but I just so happen to have a coupon to get a regular Whopper today when I went to get my Impossible Whopper. So now I'm going to do that thing that some people do. It's the big taste test thingy. So uh, first and foremost, let's go with, uh, we got the Impossible Popper here. It's impossible because it's in a green wrapper, which means it's plant-based. I'm late to the party on these reaction videos. I don't even do these. I don't want to even do a YouTube channel on it. So anyway, now you get to watch me eat. Oh, my brother will be so pleased. Alrighty. I got them both the same. Uh, no tomatoes, no pickles, everything else the same. But I don't like pickles or tomatoes most of the time on the burger. So here we go. Let's see what they're going. Do that seem possible? Yeah. Does seem possible. Says so on the wrapper. I mean, it tastes like a Whopper. It tastes just like a regular Whopper. One more bite. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Freaking good. I like the impossible order. What I say? Alright. Tastes like a whopper to me. This is a whopper. So we will see. Once again, same way. No tomatoes, no pickles. We'll see what this is. This is. I know I'm like, like I said, I'm late to the party on these try thing videos. Uh, but I like the idea of the plant based burger. I've, I've made some of the Beyond Meat at my own house. It's, you know, it's good. So, all right, regular Whopper. Burger King, regular Whopper. I mean, I mean, it's good. It's like, well, I mean, this is definitely, I see the texture difference a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. All right, they do taste a little bit different. Um. Honestly, though, I think I like the Impossible better. Uh, the, maybe, and I know that the, a lot of the beef with the Impossible is that true vegans get upset because it's been cooked on the same grill as the meat, and it ticks them all in like it. You can request it not get made that way. You don't have to. You're not married to the idea. They're both good, and they're both pretty close. I actually noticed more of the flame broil taste than the Impossible. Let's say another body is. I'm going to end up having both of these completely eaten before I'm done with it. All right, speaking for the carnivores out there, I'm the meat eater. I like meat most of the time. This is better than the meat version. It just is. Mind blown, once again. First time I've done the side-by-side. -side, clear winner to me, even though they're really similar. Something about the Impossible is better. Maybe it is that. The fact there's no cholesterol, that's pretty sweet, you know. So, you know, whatever you think. See what you see you next time if I ever do any of these things ever again or something. Well, when, check out Video Store Graveyard sometime. Yeah, Video Store Graveyard YouTube channel. Me and my buddies, Tex and Andrew, talk about movies that you might want to watch. Give our crappy opinion. They'll say it's not crappy. I, I, I'll tell you right now. Our opinion, who cares what we think? But 
Maybe you do. If you do, watch us. I like what we do. I like what we do. Who cares what I think about these stupid-ass hamburgers, either? Bye.